hello my name is kendall bauman and i'm the elementary p teacher here at eastern mennonite school and i'm also the assistant athletic director and this is my story about sustainability growing up in ontario canada i was exposed to sustainability through composting recycling drying our laundry outside and keeping our house at 65 degrees in the winter obviously we wore sweatshirts in the 1980s, when I was in high school, we would volunteer on a Saturday at a hockey arena in Kitchener-Waterloo where Mennonite Central Committee Ontario would set up a recycling depot in the parking lot. Residents would drive up and drop off their newspaper, tin cans, and glass. And we would fill a tractor trailer full of uh, cardboard, another tractor trailer full of newspaper, and we would have a dumpster full of glass and a dumpster full of tin cans. As kids, we loved to climb the ladder and dump the glass into the dumpster. It made an awesome sound. Fast forward to today in Harrisonburg, my family still hangs out the laundry and we compost, we recycle, and we keep our house at three degrees warmer at a balmy 68 degrees in the winter, since my wife's not from Canada. I went on the EMS 2019 discovery trip with Lee Good. This trip solidified things for me about sustainability. From seeing the Colorado River down to a trickle near Mexico, the logging from the redwoods, and new farming techniques used in Kansas and Ohio, one would be hard pressed not to care for our earth. Lee Good worked very hard at sustainability issues at EMS. Between Lee leaving uh, to farm and not being here at the school and COVID, these sustainability initiatives from the past seemed like they were in jeopardy. So I decided to try and recruit a group uh, to continue those sustainability efforts. There's a lot of negative thoughts in the world about recycling, that it doesn't matter, that it has a minuscule effect on pollution and the environment. This may be true since giant corporations produce massive amounts of waste in pursuit of the profits. There may be little money to be made in recycling at this time. So why should we care? We need to look beyond our life and habits so that we can look at the future generations for our earth. What if the generations before us would not have fought to end slavery or women's rights to vote? or justice and equality issues. Where would our planet be now? So what is my vision, my hope for our school? Besides the composting and recycling that we are doing now, we need to take the next step. As Lynette Mast, our kindergarten teacher stated, we need to ask a different question. What can we do to use less so we don't have to recycle as much? Currently, global markets do not want our vast amounts of recycled plastic. So, can we reduce the school paper consumption as opposed to just recycling even more and more of the paper that we consume? We need to ask questions like, can I print two-sided? Can I use Google Docs for revisions? Is a printed handout really necessary? How can we be mindful consumers in a city of Harrisonburg that recycles very little plastic due to there not being a plastic market that makes a profit? Can we go to the extra mile in making food choices with food containers when we buy our products? Can we maybe bring a reusable bag to the grocery store? Since COVID has forced decisions due to food safety, our society has created even more throwaway items, but this cannot be the new normal. We throw away a lot of items when the pandemic is over, and I'm hoping that we can remember the pre-COVID recycling that we were doing, and that that is continuing to be normal, and we continue those efforts. COVID has also created good changes. At the school, we are doing more online learning which therefore has less paper usage in class. Assignments are turned in online and they're graded and revisions are done uh, through Google Docs. Could we create a composting site for our campus to educate our elementary students? 
for them to see the whole process, from preparing the soil for a garden, to using their own produce for the kindergarten snack, to composting those scraps, and then seeing it turn back into soil. Compost. That way they would make a connection with the earth and why it is important for us to have that connection. If you're inspired to do something like recycle or compost, maybe you haven't done anything like that before, remember to start with something simple. Maybe it is taking a reusable bag to the grocery store. Maybe uh, just collecting some of your food or kitchen scraps and finding a place in the corner of your backyard um, to start a little uh, composting area. My vision for creating a space where sustainability is just something here at EMS that we do. It's a part of who we are. It's the fabric of our school. And we need to take care of the world because it is the only place where we have to live and the generations following us. Students have done a great job here at school in different initiatives both in the past and currently. Some of those examples, there was a campaign to reduce straw use uh, in our, at the school lunches. Uh, helping with the solar barn raising that just happened, that's going to uh, create one third of the amount of electricity for the school. And using refillable uh, water bottles, uh, we have a lot of those places around uh, campus and that was, I believe, a gift from uh, one of the senior classes. And this year we started an initiative to rescue the clamshells from the trash can. And to do that we are com um, using Black Bear Composting, which is a company, and they are going to be taking all of our um, clamshells and some of the dining hall scraps away for us to compost. And the really cool thing with them is that we get a yard of free compost um, after the year is finished. So if you're inspired uh, to help in some way, reach out to myself, Andrea Wanger, Sydney Rhodes, or Harriet King. I want to end with some pictures and some questions for you while I use the song Take Care of the Earth uh, from Kids Trap. I play it sometimes for my elementary students. Thanks for listening. Take care of the earth, yeah. Take care of the earth, yeah. Take care of the earth. We gotta take care of the earth, yeah. Take care of the earth, cause that's where we belong. And let me tell you how to do it in this song. Recycle all your empty cans. We can save the earth if we all give a hand. Plant a couple flowers, plant a couple trees. Trees make oxygen, that is how we breathe. Don't drive if it's close enough to walk And throw away trash that is on the sidewalk Take care of the earth cause this is our home Reuse, recycle, and leave nature alone So take care of the earth, take care of the earth Take care of the earth cause that's where we belong And let me tell you how to do it in this song Don't throw trash on the ground or the beach We can save the planet, it's within our reach The world needs our help to keep the planet clean Let's all give a hand, we can work as a team The planet is a home to the animals and fish So eat less meat, put more veggies on your dish There's only one planet and it's up to you and me We gotta save the whole earth, it's our responsibility Take care of the earth, take care of the earth Take care of the earth, we gotta take care of the earth 